gentlemen, welcome back to number four of the 5M GTA 5 Y map map mod tutorial videos. So this will probably be the final video, i.e. we started off with Code Walker, how to open up a Y map in Code Walker. The, we then moved on to how to set up a, you know, a fresh new uh, Y map in Code Walker. We, I then showed you how to open up the Y map in single player uh, and it all brought us to this point now hashtag number four so now we can open up the Y map in single player we can then use another tool called menu where we can go and add a lot more props a lot more detail it's the final thing I do to my little projects uh, to get that extra realism and you know extra detail so the link will be down below it's menu for the PC download once it's downloaded go to your download folder I thought I already had to download it down oh, it takes us to the github go to the menu single player dot zip sp dot zip back to your download folder okay obviously you do need winrar or winzip uh, to extract the, the files out of this so I normally just go well I can just double click it to open it uh, let's go to a readme first let's go to the readme and it says you've got the controls etc and down here we've got you do, 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 do. if you don't have already have script hook get it from here so let's go and check the script hook out I forgot about script hook do 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 Okay, what's script hook telling me? It says, okay, copy script hook DLL. So let's download it first. Where's the download? Download down here. Download. Okay. Right. Copy the script hook DLL to the game's main folder, i.e., where GTA 5 dot is located. That's okay. So let's just extract this one in here. Right. So in the bin. Right. So where's my GTA 5 directory? Let's get the GTA 5 directory in the other screen. Well, come back to menu. First, we need to do script talk. Which farmer GTA 5 directory? Steam, Steam apps. New Steam. Steam apps, common. Grand Theft Auto 5. Okay. So it's said. Back to the page. Copy script talk.dll to the game's main folder where GTA 5 is located. Go script talk. Dot DLL to the GTA 5, GTA 5 dot XA. Okay, so I'll copy this across to that. Okay, I've already got it. So no, not to worry. Uh, number two, in order to load ASI plugins, you need to have ASI Loader installed. You can download it separately to use the, the latest version. It comes with distrib din port dll. You must delete previous ASI Loader version DSL if you have one installed. Did I put this in? I think I might have put this in. Let's have a look. GTA 5 directory din and put yes I've got it there so that's the menu we don't want that one oh, for goodness. so many screens it's, it's how do you guys work with one screen so there's din input so I'd copy this across to my GTA 5 directory as well boom paste it in there but then it said delete the previous, what was it? DS sound.dll. You must delete previous ASI loud loader version DS sound. How, is that in the directory or is it deleted? So I haven't got that, so if you've got that, delete that sound, boys, okay? Right. Now, as it say, this distrib, distrib also includes a sample. No, we don't need the native trainer. We don't need that. Right, so now we script talk installed as long as you put those two files script up dll and the din input 8 into your gta5 directory and you deleted if they're ds sound dll because i haven't got it then script up sorted all right set off back to menu okay menu that one okay place menu.asi and menu stuff and any other important looking files in the gta5 directory okay let's go back to the download then find it download menu okay gta5 directory jeez okay so put menu hold down control and menu.asi put them both in your gta5 directory happy days close this come off this Get off this. Load up. Grand Theft Auto. That's done at least. Okay, if you're all sorted, you should be able to press a fake. This twat keeps phoning me. Franklin! Hey, what's going down? The mark. 
All right. Sick of him phoning me every time I come on. Right. If you, if it's all working, you press F8 twice and you'll get this screen. Happy days. So what we can do, just for, I mean, you guys knock yourselves out, do what you want, but just for, this is all just for the the purpose of how the method works. I'm just going to go to Object Spooner. I always click this on so I can move around. Don't go too far, you'll start get, losing your distance, you know what I mean? Right, and spawn entity into world. I might as well so I do anything useful while I'm actually here. Um, now we'll just we'll just do it for, for well let's put something in the square. I'm sure if I go too far I'll lose the, the textures. Let's go and add something to the square just for the the lulls. Yeah, see I'm losing textures the further I've gone. Well right, let's let's teleport there first. And I know from the amount of builds I've done up here, it's there. So let's go to the menu, let's go teleport, let's go to waypoint. Right, now we can see again. Okay, so we're still in the menu. We're still in spooner mode. Right, here's the square where everybody always chills. What should we put here for the lol? Um, I don't know, but let's get the menu back up. Let's go to object spooner. Spawn entity into world. Let's go to object. If you know what it's called, then you're good. But I don't, so I'm just going to type in uh, just anything random like... Let's just put drug and see what comes up for drugs. So using my little cursor so I can get a preview of what it actually is. It's like a big load of load of drugs there. I mean, we only need something. I don't know what that is. On our in our town, we've got a big chilling spot over here. So I'll put. Well, let's put. Uh, Let's just put it there just for bloody training, just just for the purpose of the, the video. Okay, press enter to keep it there. Now backspace to come out of all this. Now, let's say you put loads. What One thing you probably normally have to do is manage entity database. Go to that prop, enter, and here, a lot of manual placement, you know, to get that finer touches. I've had to do a lot of that with the plants and rotations, etc, etc. I'm just going to show you now how to save this XML and load it back up in CodeWalker so then you can then save it as a YMAP and use it on your servers. Right, so let's go to Manage Saved Files, go to Save Database File, call this Rib Test. Rib Guest? Yeah, that'll do. Press Enter, then press C. Right, we can come out of all that. Jeez, that was loud. Okay, so go to your, back to your Grand Theft Auto directory. D drive, new Steam, Steam apps, common Grand Theft Auto. Go to the menu stuff, go to Spooner. There's all my old ones, but we've got the rib, the one I just saved. Rib guest. Copy this. Like I say, not every prop will be streamed on a 5M server. Single player, you're fine, but 5M doesn't stream everything. There is some times where you come, but if you can't see it in, the, in your 5M server, more than likely, you're. Yeah, this, the 5M doesn't stream it, because I've had that quite a few times. It's all a trial and error kind of thing. Anyway, let's copy this. Let's just put it on the desktop for now. Okay, let's go into CodeWalker. Where you gone, CodeWalker? Okay. Okay, one. Takes, uh, takes two. Let me just shut down Grand Theft Auto, because we don't need it. That's it off. Wait there, then. Gamble. One thing I'll also provide you is a folder which will also will already be ready to stream on your servers. So you'll have the resource layer, you'll have the, the stream folder where you put your your Y maps. Come on man. Is, is, is it take us along because we just reinstalled Open IV? possible oh, we're here anyway okay you should be familiar with this by now open um, we're going to go new sorry new YMAP file okay let's just highlight this bit here call this whatever uh, rib that's the I'll do uh, and let's go to tools import menu one XML we put it on the desktop so there it is rib gasped 
open, open. It's now there. So this will be the objects. So we don't need that bit there because we can just that was just so we could open up the project window, etc. And there it is. There is our one one object that we added. The prop, the drug. You won't see it in Code Walker though because it's built with with menu. You just know you've just converted it to a Y map to ready to then stream it. It will stream alongside whatever you're building. Uh, for instance, I've already got my Y map of my building that I build in Code Walker. This will be an extra Y map that will stream alongside that one, just for the props, just for the detail. So just go to File, Save Ribbed Gas <laughs> Desktop. It'll come up with a little can't rename malarkey. It normally does. Now we're good. Save. Okay, so let's come off this. Uh, no. Right. So there it is. It's now a Y map. So like I say, I will provide you with, let me just quickly grab one for you. Could have just, I'll use an existing working one. Um, so let's go to one of my benches or something. Rib fields. Got it. So this is a working resource on my 5M server that's streaming some props. So obviously it's got the resource number right, and in the stream folder you just put your Y map or you could just create that folder yourself there's no point me sending it here I'll link it I'll link it so if I put now if I get rid of that just put rib that one there in there upload this to the server make sure I'm streaming it in the server.cfg the rib fields and it'll work happy days I hope it's helped boys like subscribe see you all in the next one Stay gooch.